Hi everyone, this is Carol. We're going to have a little look at Google Classrooms and see how you can share work with your students asynchronously. Okay, so I'm on a clean Google page. I am actually logged in with my Google account. I can hover over so you can see rainbow.carol at gmail.com. Now, if you don't have an account, anybody over the age of 13 can set up a Google account. Next to my name, there's what's called Google Apps, this little block of dots. And if I click on Google Apps, you can see a lot of things I'm sure a lot of you will already be familiar with. So Google Search, YouTube, Maps, Play, The Drive, and so on, Calendar. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll see Classroom. So click on Google Classroom. And here we are. I'm in my Google Classroom. And you can see that I have taken part in a couple of courses run by other people. And I have got a couple of classes of my own. So let's just look at this course run by Graham Stanley. It's an Evo course that was run last year, Electronic Village Online. And I did it. So escape the classroom. If I click on the course, I come automatically onto a place called Stream, which we'll be looking at in the next in the next video. And you can see that there are messages sent out by Graham to the whole group. Other people have replied, and I could reply to any one of them if I wanted to. Back to my classes. Okay, now then, to make a new classroom all you need to do is click on the plus sign create or join a class I can join a class by using the class code so I'll show you where to find the class code in a minute or I can create a new class now if I'm a school or a university I need to make the G Suite for education uh, I need to sign up for a G Suite for education and not use my private account but I'm trying to do a little course just for my own private students. So I'm going to create just a course for my own little group. So let me see, I've got a business English and I've got a beginner English. So I'm going to do a conversation English this time. Conversation English and, oh, can't spell English. That's not so good, is it? And the section, so this would be module one, maybe. We could say in a pub, in a shop, at the dentist, in the doctors, <laughs> whatever. Subject, ERT. And I don't need to give it a room number. So create. And you can see now it says it's creating my new class. Taking a long time about creating. And there we are. I have got a completely new Conversation English class. I've landed on the stream, which I've already referred to as being a very important one that we'll look at next. But that was just an instant, quick snapshot of making your first or your new classroom. Okay, thanks for watching.